Hi, this is Nirupa Macharji, and I am back with my another episode on health alerts. Uh, as usual, a disclaimer before I really go into it. This video is for educational purpose only and is in no way substitute for medical advice or care. If any way you feel unwell, please consult your doctor to get the best medical attention and care. Okay, here I am. Today the topic will be sunburn. Now this is a very relative uh, situation which we face nowadays. Uh, in the sultry summer, whenever we go outside, we actually expose ourselves to the bright sunshine, which causes a lot of uh, health hazards in our system. When we go outside, we get exposed to the sun rays uh, very badly and we develop different kind of sunburns. Like, you know, in these uh, first two arms, you can see the uh, lesions. Mainly these lesions uh, can be seen uh, with uh, persons who are riding two wheelers uh, because they keep on their uh, forearms exposed to the sun while driving and they can ultimately end up burning their forearms. And then the third picture, if you see, that is, you know, blister formation out of the sunburn, which is a very different kind of a situation and calls for emergency attention. Likewise, it depends on how much body we are exposing to the sun and how much we are getting the sunburn. Now, sunburn is a condition that occurs when your skin is exposed to the sun's ultraviolet radiation for a prolonged period of time. When your skin is exposed to the sun for a period of time, eventually it burns, turning red and irritated. Under the skin, things get a little more complicated. Uh, how this happens? Uh, the sun actually emits a lot of ultraviolet radiation. Now, what is ultraviolet and infrared? Uh, we see a lot of colors but there are certain colors which are emitted from the sun which are not visible to our naked eyes you must have heard the words or the terms like ultraviolet rays infrared rays now these are the two spectrum of uh, rays which are not visible to the naked eyes of human beings but they have impact they create impact on our systems ultraviolet radiation causes sunburn skin cancer eye cataract and skin aging the sun gives off three wavelengths of ultraviolet light. First one is ultraviolet A radiation. Second is ultraviolet B radiation. And third is ultraviolet radiation C. Now, ultraviolet C light doesn't reach the earth's surface, but the other two types of ultraviolet, namely UVA and UVB, not only reach your beach towel, but they penetrate your skin too. Skin damage is caused by both UVA and UVB rays. So how we counter it? Sunburn is the most obvious sign that you have been outside for too long. It can cause redness, pain, peeling of the skin. But sun damage is not always visible. Under the surface, of the skin, ultraviolet light can alter your DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid, prematurely aging your skin. Over time, DNA damage can even contribute to skin cancers and deadly melanoma. How soon a sunburn begins depends on your skin type, the sun's intensity, how long you are exposed to the sun. And signs of sunburn, when you get sunburn, your skin turns red and it hurts. If the burn is severe, you can develop swelling and sunburn blisters, which is a, a, a emergency kind of a situation. And you may even feel like you have the flu, feverish, with chills, nausea, headache and weakness. A few days later, your skin will start peeling and itching as your body tries to rid itself of sun damaged cells. What are the remedies to sunburn? Cool compress. Apply a cool compress or taking a cool bath can help reduce the inflammation and soothe the skin. Aloe vera. It's a household name. Aloe vera has anti-inflammatory properties that can help soothe the skin. Apply pure aloe vera gel directly on the affected areas and moisturize your skin. Apply a moisturizer or lotion that contains soothing ingredients like chamomile, lavender, and oatmeal. 
Drink plenty of water. Sunburn can cause dehydration. Drinking plenty of water can help rehydrate the skin and prevent further damages. Avoid further sun exposure. Avoid being out in the sun as much as possible until the sunburn has healed. For pain relief, over-the-counter pain relievers like ibuprofen or aspirin can help relieve the pain and reduce inflammation. Seek medical attention. If the sunburn is severe with blisters or fever, seek medical attention immediately. Now, this is a kind of sun blister, I mean blister formation out of sunburn. You may be able to treat certain kind of sunburn yourself, but call a doctor if you notice any of these more serious sunburn signs. Fever of 102 degree Fahrenheit or higher, chills, severe pain, headache. Sunburn blisters that cover 20% or more of your body, such as the entire chest and abdomen. Dry mouth, thirst, reduced urination, dizziness and fatigue, which are signs of dehydration. Also, if you notice any mark like bump, blemish or mole that is changing, growing or bleeding, call your doctor. It may be skin cancer. However, skin cancer is often treatable when it's found early. Spot the differences. See your doctor immediately if you see any of these unusual things or notice any change to your skin. The first row depicts the melanoma. The second row, the middle row, you can see modular melanoma, basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma. Carcinoma is the other name of cancer, as you know. And the warning signs like solar keratosis or sunspots. Hum, less spots are mole or seboroic keratosis. How to prevent sunburn? Use sunscreen. Cover any exposed areas of skin liberally with at least one ounce of broad spectrum sunscreen. That means sunscreen that protects against both UVA and UVB rays. The sunscreen should have a SPF, sun protection factor of at least 30. Whenever you go to a departmental store or a cosmetic store and you go for uh, buying a, a SPF uh, product, ensure that you are buying uh, the product which has an SPF of at least 30. Apply sunscreen about 30 minutes before going outside. Use sunscreen even on overcast days because UV rays can penetrate clouds too. Reapply sunscreen every two hours or more often if you are sweating heavily or swimming. If you wear makeup, apply sunscreen first and then put on your foundation. By itself, the foundation doesn't have the broad spectrum sunscreen that you need, even if it does have some sunscreen in it. Talk to your doctor. Discuss any medications you take. Some antibiotics, antidepressants and diabetic drugs. drugs can make skin more sensitive to the sun. Here are five natural sunburn relief remedies. Healing bath, soothing compress, cooling lotion, healing spray, moisturizing lotion. Sunscreen or moisturizer. If you are using a chemical based sunscreen, apply it before the moisturizer as it needs to penetrate your skin to be effective. And if you are using a physical mineral sunscreen, it is suggested to use it after the moisturizer. What to wear that can protect you from sunburn? Wear a hat to protect the face, ears and neck. Sunglasses to protect the eyes. Look for your size sunglasses with at least 99% ultraviolet protection, not a fancy one, but a really required one. And don't forget to choose cool uncomfortable clothing that covers the body for additional protection. UV rays can damage your eyes severely. UV rays can damage your eyes very severely. The next episode therefore will be on safeguarding your eyes from harmful ultraviolet radiation from the sun and what type of sunglasses should be used to keep the eyes safe. My emphasis will be science and not fancy while opting for your sunglasses or while choosing your sunglasses. Next episode on how to choose sunglasses, how to safeguard your eyes.
from the harmful ultraviolet radiation that will be coming on tomorrow that is 30th april sunday and remember laughter is the best medicine here is today's laughter dose when you listen too much to motivational speakers try to read between the lines and laugh it out thanks for watching till then take care all the best